Well, this is the first time uh, Kenny and I have been back down in Westminster since our outstanding conference last week in Stirling, where robust debate was had, people were challenged, and solutions were found to some of the real challenges that we face as a nation in our fight for independence. Uh, it really is um, like the good old days when debate was allowed and uh, the matters that were important to Scotland were front and centre in all of our discussions. So ALBA is really beginning to establish itself as a real political force in Scotland. A recent opinion poll showing that our uh, support is racing ahead. We're now at the same level it took the SNP 40 years to get to in the opinion polls. So, uh, I think that's, uh, that's a pretty good uh, testament to our message cutting through. Now, this week in Parliament, there wasn't really uh, an awful lot to discuss because the Tory party were trying to sort out the mess that they've created for themselves and appointing a new Prime Minister that only six people in Scotland could have possibly had any say over uh, at his appointment. That's the six Tory MPs who are fighting to stop Scotland's independence rather than to give us the economic powers to get ourselves out of this economic mess. I spoke in the European Law uh, Retention Bill and uh, um, I made the case for Scotland's um, coercion into this union and our lack of democratic voice within the union. And I called out Jacob Rees-Mogg and his proclamation that somehow leaving the EU has been a democratic adventure. It's nothing of the sort, of course. Right now in Scotland, we've got the absurdity of being an energy-rich nation with our people fuel poor and struggling to pay their bills. And that was challenged this week by Kenny McCaskill in his adjournment debate. And he engaged constructively with the UK government to try and find a solution. What was really surprising and actually quite shameful was that our former colleagues in Scotland's alleged party, the Party of Independence, didn't deign to stay. In fact, not only did they not deign to stay and contribute to that important debate, they staged a walkout on independent supporting MPs in Westminster. Now that video has seen over 200,000 hits so far and it really is cementing in the minds of so many people that it is really ALBA that stands for Scotland.